Okay, guys, let's talk about the patient who's on diuretics because their blood pressure is too high. Okay, what's our nursing care going to be for this type of patient? D, daily weights. The importance of daily weights. Guess what? The daily weights, that lets us know how much fluid that patient's actually holding on to because, you know, the more fluid they're holding on to, the more pressure against the vascular space the higher the blood pressure. So the number one way we can know how much fluid a patient's holding on to, it's not INO. It's not skin turgor. It's weights. You're going to do daily weights, do the weight at the same time in the morning before they eat in the same type of clothes, same scale. Okay. Eyes for INO. INO also gives us information on how much fluid they're holding on to. Not as much as the daily weights, but it's still good information we need to know, especially they're on diuretics. You, you're an output. They're supposed to be urinating. They're on diuretics. So yes, we want to keep track of how much um, fluid that patient's excreting. Especially diuretics tend to be hard on the kidneys. We want to make sure it's not affecting the kidneys. R, response to blood pressure. Hello, every time you give a medication, you ha always have to go back to make sure that it was effective. Did it work? Because if it didn't work, remember ADPI? You go back to A, assessment again. E, electrolytes. We're giving them diuretics through all that urine. Guess what? They're losing electrolytes such as sodium, potassium, um, T, take pulses. You absolutely want to take the pulses because what happens is the patient's holding on to too much fluid. It backs up. The heart's trying to push out all that fluid. And so you'll see the heart rate increase because it's trying to compensate. So we have to look at that. Remember, the heart rate's supposed to be 60 to 100. I, for ischemic episodes, TIA. Guess what? The TIAs are the little warning signs, what we know as the mini strokes, right? The warning signs for the big one. Absolutely. And C, complications of... Um, of uh, hypertension, your four C's, CAD, coronary artery disease, CRF, um, chronic renal failure, CHF, congestive heart failure, that's a biggie, and CVA, cerebrovascular accident for the stroke.